somebody's mouth. Um, it kind of just lets you say what was going on with you. And I think that's, uh, that's going to be good with getting uh, a lot of clear, um, you know, untarnished data about this. Um, let's go to some testimonies. I don't know. Y'all got to come to this site and kind of check it out. I'm not doing it justice. I'm sorry, Terry. I'm really not doing it justice. I may come back. You know, I may come back to it, um, you know, kind of kind of really explore it and see my favorite parts. And so, so this is kind of just a peripheral uh, introduction uh, to the website, not planned or anything like that. And um, I'm having a lot of trouble breathing. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go for 50 more minutes. I'm just going to get through. I mean, you know, I'm, we're tortured all the time, um, and we have to go through things. Like, we have to go and live our lives. So, you know, when I'm talking about the information, it, you know, people can, I guess, think whatever they want, but it just lends more credibility to what we're doing, um, that we're not going to stop talking no matter what. And my attackers can be buttholes right now, um, but I doubt, you know, We'll just, we'll see kind of, you know, how they keep reacting um, to what I'm doing. I just, I don't, I don't get it sometimes, though, because it's, you know, I'm, I guess they just don't like the project in general. I don't know if they're, they're not scared of information I'm putting out, but they're just, they're scared that, you know, uh, that we're getting organized and we're inspiring each other and we keep talking about it and it can create huge waves, um, you know, especially on social media. You know, I talk about a lot of the things that other TIs are doing, um, you know, in, in Britain, uh, in, um, in, in America, um, not a lot of other places except, you know, Dr. Horton, um, well, she's in the UK, Melanie Richard. Um, you know, I probably need to do that one day, is uh, see what some, some target individuals around the world are doing and news about them. Um, but, you know, we need to support each other um, because we don't have, you know, we definitely don't have the mainstream media on our side. I mean, they're bought and paid for, and we're going to have to just create a massive tidal wave that kind of go that covers the mainstream media and goes around it for them to kind of look, you know, look back when we're past them and say, well, we might, might as well not hide it anymore. Um, but we have to, you know, promote each other and be each other's advertisers for information and spread a lot of stuff, and we don't have to just spread it by, you know, word of mouth. I think the flyers, handing out flyers and wearing t-shirts and, and being directly involved in your community is so important. It's, an, it's a very important angle, but if we get that working in conjunction with uh, social media, like, you know, me just talking about Terry's website, what he's doing, Try, you know, I'm going out, and I don't do as good of a job as Terry. I mean, you should see him talking to people. He really has... You know, he has his game face on. He has, you know, really good information. He speaks very clearly. He's very practiced at it. Um, and we can all get like that. We need to get comfortable with talking about this because it's so important and so many people are being hurt. Um, you know, last night on a conference call, uh, another target individual was kind of like, you know, uh, and I kind of agree with her. She was like, you know, this stuff, you know, I don't talk about it with people. I go in and I enjoy my friends and... Um, you know, somebody really can't understand this unless they've gone through it. And I, I kind of agree with her in a way. You know, you start talking about how complicated this stuff is and how complicated your life is because of it. Um, and people can't, they can't understand it. And that's, that's, you know, it was built, it was built that way on purpose. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like, you know, uh, screw it, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, because we just have to talk, we have to stumble through it. Uh, talk about it, learn as much as we can. We're not on the other side. We, we're not on the side uh, of the directed energy weapon systems, the ground weapons being shot at us, uh, you know, certain chips being put in our body non-consensually. We're not on the other side of it. Um, you know, so we have to do our research and we have to talk about, you know, what's going on. And we have to, you know, get gather as much evidence as we can um, and just do it, you know. Oh, Pepper's whining. I hope they're not hitting her. All right, let's see what... Let's go to... Man, I'm just not doing this website justice. I'm going to come back on on a day where I feel, uh, where I feel great. And I'm going to be kind of studying the website and seeing, uh, seeing which, 
which pages I like the best, and then I'm going to come back. Uh, he has a TI memorial. Um, that's really awesome for all the, the people that we've lost. Um, let's go to Acts Taken real quick. I'll go to like 45 minutes. I got some time. So, let's see. And it says up at the top, these are not street gangs. The site, uh, do, do, do. okay, no. Okay, uh, target individuals, please out. Okay, we need to to help stop these crimes against humanity. Uh, like many target individuals have talked to, or local authorities in the TI's area, Gresham Police was a Gresham Police officer that told me I was a target individual, which put me on the path to learning about this crime and what they were. And doing to me. So Terry actually had a police officer tell him, you know, you're in this program. You know, people people are going to be harassing. And he actually told him what was going on. But the police officer could not speak out um, because he was, you know, worried about his family. Um, and let me let me go on. Comma, Portland Police, local FBI, Clackamas uh, County Police. With the same results that most find. Not wanting to help, saying you're mentally ill, you need help. I will say that learning the facts about the crime, whistleblowers, documents, helps when you talk to authorities. I put a sign about gang stalking, targeted individuals, directed energy weapons on my auto, pass out flyers when, whenever I can, wear a shirt every time I go out, pass out business cards, and built this website. Each person will deal and fight against it in their own way. I would like to see all TIs do the same as me. Uh, but it is up to you. I will post my efforts to help bring a stop to this crime for all of us. Um, and, and Linda C., uh, she's another uh, TI who I talked about on a, another video. She's helping Terry to send out flyers. And if you don't have enough money, um, you know, they're helping some targeted individuals who don't, you know, have a printer or money to go out and print flyers. Um, you know, they'll send some out to you um, so you can go hand them out. And this is some of the T-shirts. See the one, uh, directed energy weapons used on targeted individuals. Learn the truth. Stop gangstalkingcrimes.com. I think that's the one I'm going to get. Um, then the next one, help stop gangstalking crimes. Learn the truth. I think I want the one that says directed energy weapons used on targeted individuals. The, the directed energy weapon um, harassment, in quotation marks, I would call it you know, horrible mutilation and slow kill um, with directed energy weapon systems. That's my biggest problem. Um, you know, I do have one light vehicles vehicularly stalking me. You know, I'll go into stores, like today I went into Walmart, and I'll, I'll start walking around people, and I see them looking at their phones. So when a targeted individual goes into a certain area... Um, people who work for DHS fusion centers, they're sent like a notification, uh, that you're in the area. Um, and, and usually I, I guess they don't have enough time. Yeah, you know, I think in a lot of TI's cases, they have time to like, you know, do something weird to your walk around. I think I did have one guy with a phone actually following me around the Walmart. Um, you know, and they're just, you know, I think sometimes they, they may actually, um, kind of preempt you to these places, but I think mainly it's a system uh, through which InfraGuard and DHS Fusion Centers, uh, they have an app. Uh, you know, I think it's probably a, a, pretty, um, a pretty shielded app, you know, so nobody can just go in and see what's going on. Uh, where they give out, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a horror movie uh, Pokemon Go, um, you know, where they'll alert people if you're in the area. And then, because I, I always see, like, when I walk into, like, um, you know, I go to a comic book store around here and there was, you know, just some guy who like, I don't know, I think he worked across the way, he looked like he worked in construction and I walked in and he immediately like looked down at his cell phone and then looked up at me and then like tried to like look away real quick because I mean, they, they're getting alerts, um, when we're going into places. A lot of people, a lot of TIs, I think, well, I don't think so many are confused now about kind of how it works, but some, you know, think that maybe, well, they think the remote neural uh, monitoring and manipulation is being used on uh, some of these uh, DHS fusion center workers or gang stalkers to, to make them go to certain places and stuff like that. But I think it, I think the technology used in gang stalking is a little bit more, um, 
more simple um, than what's actually being used on us. But, you know, I, I don't know every angle. You know, leave y'all's opinion about that, what y'all think. Um, but I think there's a lot of apps and there's GP, you know, the, the, the uh, one light vehicles, you know, I think that they can, uh, they basically get a, a GPS marker. Um, so they've agreed to, um, you know, patrol people of interest um, with one light or a certain color car or something like that. So they'll work all the target individuals in a certain area. Um, and when you go out, they get a GPS marker and then they can go to, to where you are and, and drive by you. And they call it patrolling. Um, as, as survivors of this crime, you know, TIs call it gang stalking. Um, not like gangs of, of people out there, but, well, I guess truly they are gangs, but really just it's organized stalking, you know, by DHS, DHS fusion centers and InfraGuard. And InfraGuard is connected to the FBI. DHS fusion centers is connected to DHS um, and NSA. Okay, so, um, ooh, let's read this. Okay, so tell us how many flyers he passed out. Uh, for summer of 2017, we passed out over 7,000 flyers in Oregon, plus we took packets of info to many mayor offices and police stations. Uh, Internet gutter, gang stalking, responded to this article by sending documents to author and editor. So I guess there was an, there was an article in Internet gutter, which I need to look up. Gang stalking exposed by police, hundreds arrested for spying on unemployed women. Uh, responded, I would like to see some documentation to back this up. Please looks fake to me. Please prove me wrong. Thanks. Learn about it at HTTP. Okay, so I guess that was a, uh, an article that Terry, I guess, sent to the police. But this is basically all the stuff he's working on. He's, he's looking to inform, you know, authority figures about it who may not know. Um, he's looking to inform his community uh, and his church is on his side. You know, they they can see what's happening to him. Uh, they really support him and his activism. And it's it's a really good. I mean, he's a great example, just of a human being, um, and uh, also a great example of a TI. Um, you know, I I find that you know when I try and connect with people on the activism that we're doing, um, and and kind of how we're trying to bring this out to the public and what we're doing about it. Um, I get I get more uh, attention, uh, not attention, but um, like my parents will listen to me more about that. They don't want to hear how you know these people are really hurting me very badly. It, it scares them. Uh, it, it scares them. They don't know what to do about it. Um, they don't really understand the whole uh, the experimentation being run on me, and I think even them in some ways. Um, but I, I may go into that in a later video. But when I when I tell my mom, you know, uh, you know, we're we're doing the global TI survey with Bill Benny and Kirk Weeby. There's this awesome guy named Terry, uh, you know, handing out flyers and uh, doing a lot of activism in Oregon. Um, doing more than that, you know, putting out this website and getting that getting information out there and just really inspiring people on the calls to do the same to go out in their communities. Um, and we need to connect that, and, you know, I, and, and, and she really responds to that. You know, my mom was like, well, you know, at least you're part of the solution. You know, you're not part of the problem. Um, and that was, that was a while back. That was a couple of months ago. But um, I think you can really connect with people on, you know, what we're doing about it um, instead of just, you know, telling them how painful it is. Um, but, I mean, we also have to tell them that, too, because it, we need to create a sense of urgency, you know, about this crime because it is painful, painful torture, as I am aware of greatly this morning. Um, just, oof. Uh, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'm gonna get used to this. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna really, really uh, go and find my favorite spots on the website and do another, uh, do another homage to Terry because he's just doing a great job. Uh, he, his talks you call, I'm about, I'm about at 45 minutes, so quickly, um, his talks you call is at 5 p.m. Central, uh, so it'd be 3 p.m. Pacific time on talks you Tuesdays, and the number is, oh, I don't have the number, I'm gonna put the number in the comments, guys, um, and then on my next video, uh, no matter what it's about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the information, 
of uh, how to get to Terry's Call, and we do a lot of activism 